you may have heard the term PCIe 5.0 and you're wondering, hey, what does that even mean? Or if you're already familiar with PCIe, you may be wondering, is it worth investing in at this point in time? Let's go ahead and take a brief look at these two questions today. In case you're not as big a nerd as I am, PCIe stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express. And that, my friends, is why we just call it PCIe. But I've also launched a companion video to this one that goes over what PCIe is and how it works in your PC. So I'll link that down below if you need a little bit more explanation about what's actually going on with PCIe. PCIe 4.0 and PCIe 5.0 are the latest versions of this technology, and they bring several improvements over the previous generations. The most notable difference between the two is speed. PCIe 4.0 provides a data transfer rate of 16 gigatransfers per second, while PCIe 5.0 doubles that to 32 gigatransfers per second. This means that devices connected to your PC using PCIe 5.0 will be able to transfer the information at a much faster rate than 4.0. This transfer rate has several benefits for the end user. For example, if you have an SSD connected to your computer using PCIe 5.0, your computer will be able to read and load programs and files much faster than an SSD connected using 4.0. This can result in shorter wait times, smoother video payback, and improved gaming performance. And one of the real world applications that it seems like we're getting very close to at this point is direct storage for Windows, which touts being able to load video games much quicker. It hasn't exactly hit there in the wild yet, but any time now, at least we've been promised for several years. In addition to increased speed, PCIe 5.0 also brings improved power efficiency, which can help reduce the power consumption on your computer. I do understand this is a bigger deal in some parts of the world than it is here in the US, and I don't really know what to expect from these kind of gains at this point. My guess is it's going to be pretty minimal, but every little bit helps, especially if you're building a power efficient build. PCIe 5.0 also provides more bandwidth for devices. Now, this is something that I think most of us could actually use on a daily basis because this will allow for more advanced devices in the future. Additionally, PCIe 5.0 is fully compatible with existing 4.0 devices, so there's no need to worry about compatibility issues in the future. For gamers, the most common devices that you would think of here, of course, graphics cards and SSDs, once again, to take advantage of direct storage if Microsoft ever gets us together on that one. However, they're not available for retail purchase just yet. Now, the SSDs I have heard aren't actually that far away and could show up on retail shelves this year. Now, I would expect a pretty lofty price tag on something like that. There's been rumors about a 2024 release on some GPUs with 5.0 technology. However, neither AMD nor NVIDIA are really set up for a refresh in 2024. So I think that's most likely going to be a next gen call in 2025. The interesting thing, though, is both AMD and Intel are set up on their motherboards now for PCIe 5.0 technology going forward. I have never been someone on this channel to suggest to you how to spend your money. However, if I was doing a major PC refresh or a new build, I would certainly be looking for a motherboard that supported PCIe 5.0. And of course, those come in a lot of different flavors from myriads of brands and at all kinds of price points. And as we just discussed, we're not quite there yet with SSDs or GPUs being compatible with PCIe 5.0, Having the motherboard in play will certainly, for once, give you a little bit of future proofing. To wrap things up, guys, PCIe 4.0 and 5.0 are the latest versions of this crucial technology to allow your computer to communicate with a myriad of different devices. The main difference between the two is speed, with 5.0 providing double the transfer rate of 4.0. This transfer rate can result in improved performance for all kinds of different devices that we all plug into our PCs, and the improved power efficiency and more importantly, perhaps overall bandwidth provided by 5.0 can make a compelling choice for new builds in the future. As always, guys, a massive thanks for watching the video. And until next time, GIF out.